paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. A genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. As we are all well aware, there are idiots who know less than nothing about reality that insist upon yammering on with their wild and crazy ideas. They think insane delusional things such as the existence of this mythological evil called medical malpractice which implies that our medical system is less than perfect. We all know it's protected from all forms of tainting by magical pixies and unicorns managed by angels sent directly by God himself. They think very odd things such as the idea that words on paper don't erect magical force fields preventing all forms of crime. Of course we know all about the gnomes and elves that run the magic force field generators. Who doesn't? To think this world is anything less than heaven sent and absolutely perfect is nothing more than conspiracy theory nonsense with no basis in reality. Well, we here at Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy are proud to present to you a short tutorial about how to take down these nut jobs once and for all. I'm Slick Willie, and I approve this message. <laughs> are you a patriotic American who's sick and tired of people asking stupid questions about 9-11? Do you consider yourself an unrecognized genius who needs to feel superior to others? Does your social life revolve around trolling internet forums? Then you too can become a 9-11 conspiracy debunker. Debunkers work from the basic premise that the official story of 9-11, the one given to us by the Bush administration before any investigation was done, is the only possible explanation of the attack, and that anyone who dares question that explanation is an insane mood bat so filled with venomous hatred and intolerance they become dangerous. Although we would like to have these so-called 9-11 truthers rounded up and exterminated, they are still technically protected by First Amendment laws. So for the meantime, the best we can do is spend every waking moment searching them out on the internet and then verbally assaulting, slandering, and intimidating these people into shutting up. But before you jump right in, there's a few easy ground rules to help make you a better debunker. First, you need to become a 9-11 expert. Just go to one of the many 9-11 debunking sources like ScrewLooseChange.com, 9-11Myths.com, or the Poppy Mechanics book. Spend an hour or two browsing the contents. Congratulations, you are now a 9-11 expert and can debate anyone confident you know all there is to know about the attack. There are certain tactics you can use when debating a twoofer in a public forum. First, act shocked at anyone who questions such a sensitive topic. Although the Bush administration has lied about everything from election fraud to the Iraq war to wiretapping and torture, try to act outraged at the very suggestion that the Bush team could have lied about 9-11 too. Point out that their baseless accusations only hurt the 9-11 victims' families and embolden the terrorists. Next, look for the weakest point in their argument, or invent one, and blow it up as the central point of their evidence. Then knock it down like a straw man. 
You only have to point out the tiniest flaw to claim all of their information is wrong. Demand evidence and sources from the Twoofer to back up all of their claims. Remind them that any information found on the internet is most likely a wild rumor without any basis in fact. And then debunk their claims with evidence and sources that you found on the internet. As a general rule of thumb, any photographic evidence has obviously been photoshopped. Any witness testimony is flawed because in the confusion of the day, they obviously were panicked and could not remember clearly what was happening. And any official documents are obviously forgeries planted by truthers themselves. Remember to stay focused on small details. If they try to get you to look at the larger picture of the events of 9-11, just play dumb and act like it's too complicated to understand or has no relevance to support the conclusions. And never allow a twofer to confuse you with the facts. Remember, the truth is not determined by what evidence is proven, but rather what supports the official story. The Twoofers may refer to one of their leaders like Alex Jones, Dylan Avery, or Stephen Jones, but instead of addressing their research, simply attack the character of these people by calling them lying radicals who have no credibility. The only experts who have any credibility are the ones who work directly for the defense industry or companies that depend on government contracts, because they would have no obvious ulterior motive or political agenda. And at all costs, ignore David Ray Griffin. David Ray Griffin does not exist and is only a figment of the Twoofer's warped imagination. But if all else fails, just bombard them with childish names and venomous insults. There are many to choose from, like Moonbat, Kook, Liberal, Kami, Paranoid Wingnut, and so on. You can also associate them with unpopular groups like racists, anti-Semites, and child molesters. Continue these verbal assaults until the Twoofer lashes back in anger thereby proving it was their rage and hatred that has clouded their judgment. Always remember the magic word that makes all their evidence disappear. Coincidence. Anything that cannot be explained away is merely a coincidence. For instance, the fact that Dick Cheney, the man who oversaw America's lack of military response on 9-11, also represented both the energy and defense interests who stood to make billions from a Middle East war. Coincidence. The plans to invade Afghanistan in October were ready for President Bush to sign into action two days before the attack. Coincidence. A pilot participating in the 2000 drill simulating an aircraft crashing into the Pentagon ended up being the pilot of Flight 77 which supposedly hit the Pentagon. Coincidence. Larry Silverstein knew he would have to pay millions of dollars in asbestos removal from the World Trade Center when he leased it six months before 9-11. But instead, he made billions from his insurance policy when those towers were destroyed. Coincidence. The fact that the company in charge of security for the World Trade Center, who ordered the bomb-sniffing patrol dogs removed from the towers six days before the attack, just happened to be run by President Bush's brother Marvin and his cousin Wart Walker III. Coincidence. The fact that the FBI admits there is no hard evidence connecting Osama bin Laden to the 9-11 attack. Coincidence. In fact, of the dozens of amazing coincidences surrounding 9-11, none of them prove anything and should not be investigated. So in summary, here's an easy way to remember these tips. Become a 9-11 expert by studying debunking information for at least an hour or two. Look for the straw man or the weakest point in their evidence to knock down. Ignore evidence or testimony that contradicts the official story. Name call and antagonize them into an emotional response that will help discredit the Twoofer and their stupid theories. Remember, the goal is to discourage critical thinking and promote the herd mentality. Remain steadfast in the belief that questioning our leaders is an act of treason. Now get out there and rip those pinheaded moon bats a new one. Dick Cheney thanks you for your loyal service. Sponsored by Fox News, the only fair and balanced news source.